Why? Who the fuck is this Antis? <laughs> What's up, High Fly Gang? It's your boy, Birdie. We are back again with another reaction. Hey, guys, <laughs> how are you today? <laughs> we are going another one from BTS, but this time we're gonna do one more story about them. It was recommended in the comments. I didn't forget, do not worry. <laughs> This one is Hardships. It was recommended nobody's, from Nobody's to Legends and Hardships. So I picked this one first to do. Struggles throughout the years. I'm wondering, you know, as every big group, band, independent, individually artists, doesn't matter, well, famous, you know, made it. They all had some struggles before making it into a music world, and when they came into the music world as well, they're going new problems. So if you think, you know, that everything is perfect around them because you see expensive clothes, expensive car, a lot of money and everything, it's just a facade, it's just a material thing, you know. They sure have everything, but eventually, after some time you get bored with it, and then to them that becomes routine, as to us, this normal life every day. <laughs> For me, doing this reaction, drinking a beer, wearing a $20 hoodie, is to them driving a Ferrari. <laughs> to translate you, you know, because they got bored of it. You know, everything gets, every person gets bored with certain things after some time, you know. We all want some. I would like to be on that level because I want to have a nice car, everything. I, I want that, I'm admitting. But probably after some time, I would be like, fuck this. I would be bored. I would get bored with it. <laughs> it's just logic. It's a matter of logic. Anyways, we're going to check this one before we do that. If you want to support our channel, check the description box down below. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell. Let's go. Just for you guys, just because you're showing a lot of love and support, and you're so positive, and I fucking appreciate it, and I love you for that. We're gonna keep doing BTS. The video was not made in order to relieve the sadness or the whole grudges against others, okay. This was mad. This was mad. <laughs> I'm sorry, this was made to remind us that even though they've gone through all these hardships, and never stop fighting for their dreams. Of course. Of course. See, that way, whenever they're trying to make it, this was basically before they had everything, you know, where they're putting all the time for so many, for so long, putting all the time, you know, into practicing, singing, doing what they love to do. On the way, they had a lot of struggles, they had a lot of problems. And as every problem, some problem came on their way, after they solve it and passed it, after they solve it, they just continue, they never stopped. With every problem, they go even harder than that. You know, just because I'm gonna show that they're gonna let some problems stop them from achieving their dreams. That's what this was. Of course, that's what I said. That's what I said. Just in a couple of sentences, in detail described. There is no success without problems, without putting effort in what you like to do. <laughs> He has to fight it, man. Right. That's what I th said. Achieve, they still remain humble. That's true. They'll still remain the humble. Besides, 
besides on the Rap Monster joke song and August did the Chitta. Besides those, they remind humble about that. They're not humble, they were flexing. <laughs> they were flexing on that one. <laughs> Who did that? Who did that? Who? Who? A rapper disrespect BTS, calling them girls for wearing makeup. Who did that? Who did that, motherfucker? Who did that? Can you rap like a rap monster joke song? <laughs> Can you rap like that? I will acknowledge that rapper who said he disrespect BTS for wearing that makeup. I will agree with him. I will give him respect for saying that only if he can out rap rap monster joke if not then fuck you <laughs> fuck you <laughs> come on stop you're gonna do that jelly he's he's he was probably jealous of them he was jelly he was jelly and we're gonna send him to jelly school to recover fucking asshole Real hip. Well, what I lately witnessed with the Chitta and Joke song, they are real rap hip hop legit artists. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Who the fuck does not do makeup nowadays? Everyone is putting their makeup, every public figure, every woman, every guy. I bet fucking Eminem puts makeup sometimes when going out to do some interview. Machine Gun Kelly does. Everyone does that. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Oh, shut the front door. Come on. What the fuck? They gotta sit there just uh, listen. He's talking shit to them. I would fucking punch him in the fucking face. Fucking asshole. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but what the fuck do you expect, dude? They were told they were gonna make it because they came from a small agency. Dude, every artist that made it came from small things. <laughs> Come on, it's, that, that's why it's called transition. He made it from this little to... Whew, that's why that. Come on. <laughs> you cannot be big and make it big. You gotta be first small to make it big. What the fuck do you mean? They wanna make it because it's small for small agents. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Of course, they're small. Nobody knows them. That's why they're fighting to get to the top. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, some people don't just don't make any sense. Oh, come on, man. I will be dead with depression too. know about that <laughs> Antis trended who is Antis I, uh, this last two seconds I don't know nothing about it nothing you hit me with the comments explaining it for me I don't know who the fuck Antis and this last sentence what we're talking about I don't know the, what the shit is kick out J Hope BTS on Twitter calling J Hope ugly and untalented. Why? We're gonna get to J Hope too eventually. We're gonna listen to see his raps too. <sighs> 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 
any adjustment to any of BTS members will be one of the biggest mistakes in K-pop history. Every member is needed and talented. Yes, they are. I agree on that one. That's what I noticed. <laughs> Come on, dude. When people trying to bring you down, that means this. People just trashing them and trying to bring them down means being jealous of you, you know, and they are, with their talent, with their position in the game, they are endangering their business. So people will do anything to put you down so they can rise above you. Fuck, there's not, come on, there is space for everyone. If you're talented, good singer, you like what you do, there is a space for every one of them. No need to doing this kind of crazy shit. You know, <laughs> calling them girls, ugly and talented, so you can put them above, put yourself above them. Come on, that's not the right move. And the only way you would do that is if you are truly versed as an artist than them, so you cannot do better than them in music, so you gotta talk shit about them. That's, that's how I say it. Come on. Don't talk shit. Show me. stepped in by telling armies true up that all of them were rookie hard practice. Ah. Yeah. Oh sh what is Saji? What is Saji Antis? What is Saji Antis? What is Saji? What do you think use name? What is Saji? What's that? <laughs> Saji is when a company buys albums. Listen to me, Johnny, my boy, because you're laughing. There is my friend left because I said Saji, Saji. Do you hear me? Is when a company buys albums in large quantities to inflate the official numbers. He's crying, oh my god. Come on, bro, this is fucked up. This shit can get you, dude. Oh my god. He's hurt, come on, dude. Yeah. At one point, all seven of the boys shared one room. That's how you make it. I didn't hear one yet famous person didn't start just like this. Speaking of hip hop, what was the shit? Let, let, let me just give me a second. Machine Gun Kelly. Right, I heard in his songs talking, and in the video just talking. Him and his friends, him and his friend, that he's hype man on a, every show he does. He ever ever has a hype man, he's hype man, also his best friend, childhood friend, some dude called Slim. They shared the room, just like this. One room, two beds. They started off like that, and now he's a fucking huge. <laughs> That's remi This reminds me of that, you know. He said even in one of the songs, he even had to heat the pans of the water to shower. He didn't have electricity, he didn't have shit, man. Look at that. Like, I don't know if you BTS fans listen to MJK, I don't know, that's not the case. But you should go check out Hotel Diablo. Song El Diablo. And he says, I used to heat up the pans of the water just to shower, but you don't know half of the shit. I love that. Okay. 
these three songs are the ones they listen to every day before going to sleep because they are really good. So it became a habit that the lyrics came out of my mouth upon receiving the trophy. I love you guys, you're really cool. Towards Big Bang. <laughs> Stop the concert because due to the fresh towards him. Who was there threatening him? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on, man? Why would you death threat a great rapper like this? Oh my god, what the what's the shit with this? Why death threats? What? What's the shit? Concert in New York? Haha, <laughs> cancel death threats. In Mexico too? July 29. Why? Who the fuck is this Antis? For massaging, be massaging because of their song lyrics. Eminem was accused of being misogynist too, back in the day. What the fuck is this? That's all they tell me, this is some just trashing shit, just trashing for no reason. Who is Antis? Who the fuck are you? I'm gonna hear Antis hold this video. Antis. I'm gonna type it under effect right now. Quick second, Antis. Let's see, together. Oh, I'm sorry, what the fuck was that? Antis. BTS. But they're not waste time on that. You will do that for me in the comments. Yeah, yeah, I know what that means. That one you didn't have to describe for me. I know that because of Eminem. He was a lot of back in the time dissing I mean, not with purpose, this thing, women. This women just to troll. <laughs> they called him misogynist. He was always bitch, ho, slut. <laughs> It got him to that point that after he writes his own songs, he gives that to a fucking professor who's of professor of women's studies. Just to make it clear, just to make it sure he didn't do something wrong. That's how much that shit affected him. To examine his lyrics, just if something he wrote that he, his brain, you know, because he's just writing, he doesn't know. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, you just a bit like, fuck, I don't give a fuck, just write shit. Who gives a fuck, anyways? For young, forever. Antis didn't stop there. What the fuck with Antis so far? <coughs> Antis didn't stop there. Oh my god. During their Apple concert, they began a project using the hashtag.
열심히 하는 것만으로는 아무것도 이룰 수 없을 것 같았다. 꿈, 열정, 노력은 아무 힘이 없는 것 같았다. 음. 노력은 아무 힘이 없는 것 같았다. 야. Yeah. Well, I didn't think it's gonna be some. I didn't, well, I didn't think the goal of that project was gonna be something else besides trash and BTS. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? The This is low blow, man. Antings began to accuse him of using his grandmother's passing for attention. Oh, come on, man. Don't do that shit. People like that don't need... <laughs> Especially people like BTS who are that popular. They don't need to use anything. Not that they would in the first place at all, even if they were popular. They don't need to use anything for attention. They are attention in itself, themselves, because of the old music they made. Come on, dude. Why the fuck are you do Come on, that's not cool at all. You're gonna be an awful person to tell someone he's using someone close to him who died for attention. You're gonna be fucking awful. Oh, oh come on, dude. I will fucking kill you for that. What the fuck was that? Antis, if you did that to me, that shit. My parents are alive. My parents are alive. But some of them, I'm just saying, hypothetically, passed. And he was talking shit about my dad or mom who passed. I would be like, what you say about my mama? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I will track you down. What the fuck is that? Wait a second. What the fuck? The hunks grandma looking good here. Some shit from Egypt, some doesn't matter what, but what the fuck is that, dude? This is fucked up. This is too much. Pale and dead of life, you mean the huge grandma. What the fuck is this, dude? Oh my god, no. Oh my god. This reminds me of NF. And there is a rapper. 
if you may, maybe some of you know, maybe some don't, but NF he has one song therapy session when he in a video was referring to those kind of things, you know, people in the comments, they're just talking shit. And he screenshotted that and put it on the picture and showed it in the music video, a comment on his music, on some of his songs. He showed that in his music video, saying some dude to him, I will slaughter your family. What the fuck, dude? It's just a fucking rapper making really great music. Why would you comment, I will slaughter your family? I can understand that some people can write, you're a fucking shit, you're trash. I can understand that, but I will slaughter your family. I cannot do it, even if his music was trash. Still, what the fuck, that is fucked up. <laughs> and he used that to put in his video, just to show people. And then he proceeded to rap about that, saying, I see a whole bunch of talking on socials. Because we all can talk shit on socials. A bunch of talking on socials. I can see a bunch of talking on socials, but I don't not I see nothing in public. I kinda love it. Yeah. <laughs> in public, the same person who's talking shit to him in the comments, in public, they won't say shit. He kinda love it. Yeah. Bitch. Prime price, okay. <laughs> He's like, dude, dude, no fucking way. <laughs> Look at his face. He's lost. He's lost. <laughs> Okay. Come on, I can't happens. Then look at the biggest philosophy. <laughs> of 2021 20, if they won't wait a second wait a second then why did they won the artist of the year if they didn't deserve the artist of the year. Boo! Like on South Park, Kanye West. Boo! You just got lit up. Cause that's right, they deserve the artist of the year because they won it. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. So. Going store. They should have nothing to play with. You never know. Death threats. Could be just because somebody wanna talk shit, but you never know. It may be very serious, they're afraid too, <laughs> you know? So they gotta secure that. You never know if someone is meaning that for real or not. It's better not to think and just make it safe for any case. If I was him, I would probably think maybe somebody just fucking with me, but I'm not gonna <laughs> think too much. I will secure myself.
few, only few. It was made. It was not. It was made to show how many fucking assholes live on this planet. That's why it showed. Let me tell you. <laughs> I can say that in the comments, I can say that in the comments on this channel, on this little small channel with not many viewers, I can even notice that ARMY has not given up on BTS. I can see little comments, but the comments I see and then when I read them, I say this is something fucking serious going on. <laughs> this is fucking crazy fandom. I say crazy in a positive way, crazy fandom, dude. People really... <laughs> well, I don't see... It's a little long video, I will just say one sentence. I don't see any problems with these guys. They're doing their own thing and other people who were trashing them are fucking assholes. End of the video. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna finish the video before we do that. If you want to support the channel, check the description box down below. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell. See you next video. Stay fly.